Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today and we're doing yet another themed bracelet. I heard you guys like those. So what are we doing today? We're doing a Captain America uh, themed bracelet in light of uh, the recent Captain America Civil War. Great movie, by the way. I loved it. And um, so, yep, yeah, this is a Twisted Cobra design. So it is based off of the uh, Cobra Stitch, but it's done slightly differently. You'll see how in a sec. I've got a bunch of detail work here, and um, yeah, you can see that's just paracord fed through, and I've done some cobra stitching here, and we've also just done some more stitching with some uh, paracord, just flat 550 here. Obviously, this bracelet would look ideal or look perfect with some sort of a shield emblem, but I don't have one, unfortunately. So this is my kind of all paracord solution to doing a Captain America theme bracelet. So this is kind of like an A for Captain America, or even for Avengers. All right. So, uh, hope you guys like this one. And that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys. So I got my paracord ready here. This is what my buckle setup is on my jig. Uh, it's just the two single cow's hitch on each side. Uh, these are two separate pieces of cord. Uh, the reason I did that was just because um, the nature of this weave, you can't really have the, the one where it's set up where, you know, the, um, the two working strands are coming out of here. And you'll see why in a sec. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, of course, I will have the links down below. All right, and for my main weaving cords, I've got my same uh, navy blue here on one side, and I'll annotate the exact measurements here as well. I've got that on one side, and I've got two strands of red and white, and these are gutted. So as you can see, these are flat. The insides have been taken out. If you don't know how to do that, just really simply uh, explained, you cut off both ends of the paracord because normally it's melted on each side, or if it is melted, uh, and then you expose the inner threads and then you just pull them out and make sure you just pull it all the way out. Okay, so that is our setup. And um, yeah, we're gonna start weaving now. So this is the Twisted Cobra, and it's very simple. I'm gonna get my working cords behind here. Okay. And um, yeah, this is just like the Cobra Stitch. So um, our lead strand over the core is going to be the two, the white and red. So I'm going to start off going this way. And the trickiest part really is just um, how you deal with the red and white, the, the core strands. So we got the red and white over the core. I'm going to keep our melted part in the middle there. Like so, I'm gonna put my navy blue over the left. I'm gonna go out the other side. Okay, so this is just the same thing as the uh, cobra knot or cobra stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this to one side. Again, you want to try to keep to keep the melted part behind just to hide it. Okay, so now this is the tricky part because we're working with two cords in the middle. It's a little bit more weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is just kind of how it happened. I've got my white on this side. I'm going to push it up a little. Let me make sure my buckle stays in. All right, now when you do the next knot, you want to make sure the white matches up like this. See the white touches the white? That's how you get the desired effect here. Okay, so we're going to pull that over to one side. So you want the white touching the white, but the same color touching the same color. And then we're going to bring this through again. Okay. So through the opening we created, through the loop. Again, I've got a lot of paracord to work with because I'm always paranoid about running out, but I will annotate the exact amount I use. Now here, see, you know, we're just going to pull everything through. You want to match that up. And this one looks the best when you push everything up and make sure there's no gaps in between it or as, as little as possible. Okay, and that's it. So now we're on the other side. Now we want to make sure the red touches the red like this. Okay, I'm going to bring everything on the other side like so. And then we have blue over top of that and then through the loop. We created here. 
And that's pretty much it. Um, just your standard Cobra, Cobra Stitch bracelet, but done with the uh, two gutted cords, okay? All right, so I'm going to, oh, geez, my buckle keeps coming up. There we go. We have to adjust that anyways. So that's it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna push this up again. I'm gonna continue weaving down the core here. Uh, same steps over and over. And uh, yeah, I will show you uh, the next step after we finish this part. All right, so I've woven the entire length of my bracelet and just to finish it off, nothing special with this, just like your usual Cobra stitch, I'm going to tie all the way to the end here. And I will snip and singe the excess cords. Um, yeah, wherever they land or wherever they finish. Right, so I'm gonna simply this right here and take off the excess here. All right, and then for the next step, we are going to embellish our bracelet and take it to the next level. And I'll show you that next. All right, so now for the detail work. I've got uh, some, I think this rust brown paracord attached to my FID. You can kind of see the gap here because I was already testing it. I'm gonna put this through, um, yeah, this knot here, like so. Right, I'm gonna pull that through that, and then I'm going to put this through here. And the, what I'm trying to emulate is the um, you know Captain America wears that kind of harness um, that holds his sh uh, shield on his back, and he's got some like you know ammo pouches and stuff like that on it too. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to emulate. Okay, so it's gonna be it's supposed to be like the leather of that. So I've got a piece coming through here. Now before um, I pull this all the way through and you know melt it into place, I'm gonna take some of my gray micro cord. Uh, this part might be a little bit finicky. What you can do is you can actually do this part before you attach the brown on. So like you can tie, I'm, I'm just gonna tie some Cobra stitches um, along here, Cobra knots along here with the gray micro cord. Probably better do this before you put it on, but um, I just want to show you guys exactly where I'm going with this. So, all right, so I'm going to do that just along here, um, just to kind of emulate those buckles as well. And then when I'm done that, I'm going to pull this down, right? So let's see if I can do this. Might be a little bit hard because my fingers are really fat. Well, they're not that fat, but you know. Uh, all right, so let's just try and see where this goes. Okay, so I'm just going to tie Cobra Stitch. Like so. Okay. So this is where you know the difference comes in when you do this little detail work to make it really take it to the next level. Okay, this might be a little finicky, so I'm gonna have to do this off camera. But uh, you can see where I'm going with this, right? So I'm just gonna tie a bunch of cobra stitches along here. Then when I'm done, I'm going to pull this down like so, and then we'll have the detail work here. So I'm gonna do a few of these. Um, I went six knots in here, I'll probably do six here. So two on each side. I might do like two more beside that. So two and two, okay? So again, just to review, you um, yeah, pull the rust paracord through and then we use our gray micro cord to do some detail here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and you guys will see my finished product. Okay, so after a lot of little detailed work, I've finished my little embellishments here, and they look great. So with the micro cord, I tied about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knots, uh, seven cobra knots on each little section. And then I snipped and singed it on the back here. I made sure I press those in nicely so they don't scratch the skin. All right, and for each section of the micro cord, I think it was roughly five or six inches, but you know, the more you give yourself, the easier it is to work with just because, um, yeah, just easier. All right, so for the last little detail, um, you know what? Like I said earlier, this bracelet would be perfect with some sort of uh, Captain America shield emblem, but I don't have one. So what I will do instead, oh, so let me get a closer look here. Where was it that I did this? All right, sorry, other side. Here we go. Um, so I'm looking at it this way. I've got one, two, three, four knots here and three up top. So I'm going to start right here. I've got just a piece of, this is light gray. So you can see the difference compared to the 
darker gray micro cord. This is light gray gutted uh, 550. So I'm going to start on this knot here. I'm going to go through like that. Okay, then I'm going to go through the top one like so. Make sure you get out any twists and pull the majority of it through like that. And then kind of come down. And then I'm going to go through. So I went through this one, went through this one. Then I'm going to go down through this one here like that. And uh, this last step, I'd say it's optional. I mean, you can just, oops, we're twisted. We can just leave the uh, bracelet like that if you want. But I think this really finishes it off. All right, so we've got like that and like that. And now for the last part, we're going to go through here. Be careful not to pull this all the way through. I should have left myself a little extra, but that's okay. Like that. And there we go. Now you want to pull this down. Make sure that's tight. Pull this up. So now you can see what I've kind of done is create the A kind of for Captain America. I know it's not a real clean A, but it's what I can do, right? And what I'm going to do with, just let me take my fit off. For trimming the excess, I'm going to, this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to cut the paracord right here, and I'm going to melt it and just press it in. I think it'll hold, and I will cut the excess off here, okay? So let me try that, and um, you'll see my result. Uh, it's not might not be super secure. So what you can always do is lift it up and put some super put a drop of super glue on top of it And that should be okay, All right? So I'm gonna do that and we will be finished All right, and there we have it we are finished So finish the last little detail work on the a part here and um, Yeah, I'm probably gonna just put a drop of super glue on there just to be sure that so that doesn't come out Yeah, and that's everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, slightly more detailed um, tutorial. So I know there's a lot of detail work in this one, but in the end, I think it's worth it. I mean, I think that that really does communicate Captain America. If that doesn't, I'm not sure what does. <laughs> All right. So um, as usual, guys, if you're unsure of anything, please do leave a comment or question down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope that I uh, you know, showed everything nice and clear. And uh, yeah, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you on the next tutorial. Oh, and by the way, if you, ha if you haven't seen Civil War, go see it. Great movie. Love that movie thoroughly. Okay, see you guys. Bye.